Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today. These are about lockdown and the way that people are coping or not coping with this situation. In Birmingham, police have handed out £16,000 in fines overnight. They were called to a birthday bash at an event inside a shop and a student rave and also a poker match. Officers attended 32 COVID breach related incidents overnight in the city and a total of £16,500 was handed out in fines. Currently in the UK, we are in the third national lockdown. So this has been going on now as it feels like forever, but nearly a year on and off. And people are getting frustrated as we spoke about with the Southall incident. It's having an effect on mental health. Everybody's mental health and anybody that says that is not the case does not understand the severity of what is happening. The police say the majority of the fines happened at a large university accommodation in the city centre. Around 50 fixed penalty notices were issued as revellers, some that had travelled from London and Newcastle, had gathered at the canal side block. Kitchen. Hello, oh, well, here we go. Come on, folks. COVID-19 is real. Out you come. One by one. Guys. Hello. 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 You are in breach of COVID. You will be issued a fine. Go and see. Uh, we can hold them all in there. Wow. Any more? Any more? Not in that little bit. We'll check the rest of it. Ah, oh, even more. Come on then, folks. How'd you come? You're on breach of COVID, you'll be issued with a fine. We can hold them at the top of the stairs, boss, to be honest. Just watch for the overheads, guys. Boss, as you can see, they've all gone to the very, very top floor. I think they're all trying to get into a flat at the minute, so you're all just going to try and engage and explain. Right. Two of you at a time out here now. I shall pull you up. What are you manual first? Okay, everyone needs to calm down. Is everyone calm? Yeah? So, is everyone listening? You are in breach of the COVID 19 restrictions. If you don't give me your details, or well, the officers downstairs your details, you will be arrested to confirm those details. Earlier in the night, a pipe was broken up on Soho Road in Handsworth and shop owners had set up a sound system and were eating and drinking. A couple of fast food outlets were also found to be still serving customers around 11pm. Police said that they issued five £1,000 fines overnight, which are usually issued to the organisers of the gathering. Around 20 people were found at a 30th birthday party in the King Standing area and 17 men were found to be enjoying a poker night in a tower block. Police said they issued a total of 58 £200 fines for those breaking the rules. Inspector Steve Barnes, who was in charge of the operation last night, warned that people are dying and urged people to follow the rules. He hit back also at criticism of West Midlands Police for using resources to tackle it instead of catching criminals. And down in London, in relation to lockdown and COVID-related breaches, police have issued 300 people with fines, more than £15,000 in fines after 300 of them were caught in East London in a flagrant breach, as the police say in their statement, of COVID regulations. They received intelligence of an unlicensed music event taking place in Hackney on Saturday the 23rd of January. Officers were deployed to the area shortly after 1.30 in the morning. They found an event underway in a railway arch in Nursery Road, E9. There was loud music coming from inside and there was a significant number of people that was there. Additional resources were deployed and public order officers, a dog unit and police helicopter turned up. Numerous attempts were made to engage with organisers and others but there was uncooperative. At one point the doors were padlocked from the inside and they stopped letting police in. When officers forced entry, they found an estimated 300 people inside a small space. Dozens ran over fences in the rear of the arch and others forced open a gate to get away from police. 
78 people were stopped and issued fixed penalty notices at £200 each for breaching COVID regulations. Chief Inspector Roy Smith said this was a serious and blatant breach of the public health regulations and the law in relation to unlicensed music events. Officers were forced yet again to put their own health at risk to break up large groups of selfish people. <laughs> And of course, this isn't just in London and Birmingham. This is a scene all over the country. In Manchester, police had descended on a lockdown party that people had locked themselves into. This was in a block of flats in Cheatham Hill. Eyewitnesses described 20 police forcing their way into an apartment block on Derby Street at 3am on the 21st of Jan. Greater Manchester Police confirmed the address after initial reports say at least 40 people may have attended the event. And footage from the scene seen party goers fleeing from one entrance as police can be heard gaining access to the property. Guests could be heard shouting and laughing as they ran from the scene. Around a dozen police officers and vans were parked outside the premises as officers responded to the incident. An ambulance could be seen parked up the street, but it was not clear if anyone was injured or if anybody needed help. So as I said, everyone seems to be struggling with this time and it is difficult, of course, everyone's got to adjust, but we've got to make do and stick together and support each other at this time. And the main priority being is each other's mental health, making sure that instead of putting each other down, we maybe try to support each other as best we can during this time so i really appreciate you joining me today please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll be back again very shortly with some more news peace